And because Kurt's Canadian and he grew up on hockey skates when he was a young man and figure skates at the same time, he's got this real natural ability. Plus, he's a great skater. And so what we're doing is we have this idea to show Kurt's figure skating skills on a pair of hockey skates. Kurt Browning is one of my best friends, and, and uh, Kurt is somebody who I admire and like enough to almost despise him. <laughs> he is so brilliant, and he's so talented and gifted, and he's got all the tools. Uh, when he first turned professional, I said, you're looking at an uncut diamond. He's brilliant. He's great. He's got great feet, huge jumps, uh, athletic ability, presence on the ice, you know, a, a real solid way of communicating with an audience. Kurt's, Kurt's a superstar, and he's only going to get better. Yes, I played hockey as, as, a, as a kid. I played hockey until I was about 15 or 16. Um, and what made me decide between hockey and figure skating was just I was quite successful in having so much fun figure skating. And I'd sort of stopped growing already. So my decision was easy. Become a hockey player, don't be successful yeah, sure. and get killed, or go for figure skating, you know? So it wasn't a tough choice. <laughs> I think that my background um, from the country, there's a lot of rodeo in my family. Um, playing hockey as a kid, it sort of gives me um, a style that's, you know, I think that I could do classical skating, I could do comedy, um, I can play the hockey coach in a TV special if I wanted. It gives me a little bit more variety. I, I love working in TV. It's, um, it's nice to be treated like a star and, and have your own chair and, oh. Okay, well, we're working on that, but um, still, I got grapes in my trailer. I'm gonna go.